we're at the site of another community organisation in the local area called All About Living. Um, and this is one of the key projects that were done by one of our SQW construction cohorts. And so it was the main project that all of the participants worked on together. Uh, and it's a fantastic example, one obviously, of a piece of construction, but two of the ability for these projects to contribute to community and other organisations as well. The Sandbags course wasn't just like a course where you sit down in a room and write a bunch of stuff off of a PowerPoint. You're actually like outside working and you, you know, you, you're getting up early and starting and getting all the tools out, you know, just like, just like it actually is. I started off uh, with a Cert 1 course construction with um, Sandbag at Sandgate. The course ran for three, three months-ish. I've been working now just short of three months, so it's still, it's an ongoing thing. This is a great example of benefits community. So not only do we get more employment in the local area, but you're also contributing to other organisations that are trying to do work in the community as well. Community organisations like ours, it's our business really to work with individuals and community more broadly, but in this case with individuals who, who have experienced some level of complexity or difficulty in their life, so would be classified as disadvantaged learners. Uh, so I think it's, it's unique because it puts the, the focus on community and on the context of um, life in community and life in employment as opposed to life in a classroom. Sandbag actually helped me get my hours for to get my license and they yeah like with the fact that also they were paying us I was able to save up for a car. I really liked the people like the team that I was working with the people that work for Sandbag just really amazing people and yeah really happy I met them and got into it. Uh, there's going to be a lot of people who say you can't do it or it can't be done or they're not looking for people your age, you're too young, you're too old, don't listen to it, it's garbage, you can do it. But you need to have uh, a certain willingness and the part of, part of this course was to get us to get out there. So, you know, this is a, an alternative model, I suppose, around vocational training, so a community-based model as opposed to an RTO-led model. This, this program has been wonderful, um, and I think, you know, absolutely a salute to, to the government to reinstate this program and support it.